Sony Ericsson recently released firmware 4.0.a.2.368 for the Xperia Arc and this is not the 2.3.4 update that's coming in September or October uh, this is just an interim update but it contains a, whole, uh, a bunch of new features uh, this is the website and it's got a list of all the different firmwares that are available for download so I'm going to be flashing the global generic firmware which is uh, an AI firmware but it will work on my AARC because the uh, A version is not yet available so some of the new features uh, xLoud DLNA support um, themes and landscape mode layout change in the gallery and uh, a bunch of other things like that and the camera can now zoom they also updated a bunch of the widgets and other applications so I'm going to show how to flash this ROM from scratch uh, this ROM cannot be rooted yet so if you need root don't flash this ROM um, it is a fully working ROM though so everything and all the features and hardware do work So on my Xperia Arc, right now I'm running 2.3.3 on uh, build 3.1A0145, and it is rooted. But uh, you do not need to root your phone, you do not need to unlock the bootloader. You're just flashing a complete firmware, and that will wipe everything on your phone. Um, so before you do anything, back up all your stuff either using titanium backup or my backup as well you can also install the old backup and restore program from 2.1 it does work on the uh, gingerbread 2.3 so download this uh, backup and restore and just run it to save all your information Just going to call it today's date, so August uh, 8th or 3rd, sorry. And I'm just going to save all my data. So while it's doing that, before you do anything on your phone, you have to install Update Service and PC Companion. You need both programs or else your phone won't be recognized by your computer because you'll be missing drivers. And once you do that, you're going to need to download two files. The first is the Flash tool and the second is a zip file with the firmware. Again, all the links are in the description. So here's the website for the Flash tool. Um, some people use 0.2.9.1. Some people use 0.2.8. It doesn't really matter. So download one of these uh, files, you're going to click on it and choose one of the websites and typically you choose free and wait for the download to start. Um, once you've done that, you're going to go to this website and download the firmware for your ARC. So once you download the files, you're going to get two files. So the first is a self-extractor, uh, self so just run it and it will ask you where you want to put your files. So I'm just going to put it in C slash flash tool to make it simple. And just extract all the files. So this, this extractor is in French right now, but uh, the, the flash tool is in multiple languages, so don't worry about that. Next, I'm going to uh, extract the uh, firmware. But first, you can see the flash tool in C and these are all the files so what, when you, once you download the zip file with the extract uh, with the firmware you're going to put it inside the firmwares folder right now it's empty because there are no uh, firmwares yet go back into my downloads folder and I'm just going to extract this it's a zip file so Windows will recognize it without having to install any special software but I do use WinRAR because I find it more convenient so I'm going to copy it into my firmwares folder That. So now the firmware is in the firmware folder. Next you're going to run the application flash tool. 
once it starts up just click on flash and there should only be one firmware there and once you're ready you can click OK to flash the phone the phone will need to be in flash mode and uh, right now I'm just finishing up uh, the backups so I'll be right back once um, the backups done and I'll plug the phone into flash mode so the backup is now complete and I'm just gonna shut off my phone and connect it into flash mode so again my phone is running 2.3.3 it is a North American A version and running build 301.145 so I'm just gonna shut off back in the flash tool, it's still waiting I'm gonna click OK and it's gonna tell me to connect the phone in flash mode so hold the back button and then plug in the USB cable it's kinda tricky with one hand green light's gonna come on and the flash tool is gonna pick it up just gonna turn on a stopwatch if anything goes wrong with the flash like the flash aborts or there, there's any type of error and the phone won't boot up uh, don't panic just flash the phone again or flash it back using PC companion or update service to restore it or repair it uh, again unless you break the USB port you can't break the phone just flash it again So once the firmware is finished flashing, just unplug the phone and we're going to power it up. The phone is finished flashing and I'm just going to power it up. The first time it starts up, it will take a bit longer because it's setting up all the files and applications and everything in the background. So the phone has started up, and I'm just going to walk through some of the new things in this firmware. So Canada, and as you can see, the setup wizard is uh, different. Internet settings. This is for your 3G or internet. Um, most of the time, I find this doesn't work, so you'll have to manually enter in your information. Skipping Wi-Fi, um, skipping in all the services. Yeah, so it did fail, and I will sh um, enter in the data settings manually. But uh, most of that, you don't need to actually see the new features. So this is the new home screen. Um, you've got updates, uh, refresh. The home screen now should go horizontal. No, it doesn't. Okay. Go into settings. About phone, you'll see it's an eye now. 2.3.3 still and the new build 368 so some of the new features um, uh, that's the same privacy is the same uh, there's now an international keyboard uh, voice and input accessibility uh, needs to go to the market Sony Ericsson wireless and networks so all the same stuff so in here is where you enter in your APN information 
for uh, 3G data, so access point names. And you'd have to enter it in manually or restore it using uh, APN Backup and Restore. I'll do that afterwards. Uh, call settings. Voicemail. Display. So now you can change themes, and uh, it allows you to choose different themes for your for the phone. Okay. There's supposed to be. So uh, the new X Loud definitely makes everything louder. Um, if you're not using a headset, and the pinch still works, it's got the new home screen, so you can shake it around, shake all the widgets around, and as you can see, it's very smooth. These are your favorites, so you can add contacts and. Uh, just going to go into the widgets because there's supposed to be some new widgets. So favorite call log, friends music videos, more downloads, media shortcuts, and tracking. We've also got a data monitor widget now. So let's add that again. So to track your usage, which is, uh, but it's weird that uh, it's not going landscape. Uh, okay. Yep. So I am not. I am not getting a landscape on the home screen. But um, again, this uh, ROM isn't rootable. So if you still need to use a root, um, uh, don't update yet. There's some Sony apps. And the usual Sony Ericsson apps. And apps on the phone. So that's the new firmware that was just released. Again, the website and all the um, all the links are in the description. Um, there's supposed to be something new in the gallery, so let's go to the gallery. And it pretty much looks like the same layout. Music. Video. And the camera. So the camera. Video. And I will put um, sample video and images online later. So that's the new firmware, and that's how you flash it. It's just like any other firmware, um, just that it can't be rooted yet unless you use a custom kernel and have an unlocked bootloader. Um, if anything goes wrong, as always, use PC Companion or Update Service or the flash tool and just flash it back. Some additional features on this firmware. If you go into the calendar, you've got a monthly view that also lists um, your current uh, events, which is nice. I've also installed the Sony Ericsson uh, Home Launcher, the new version, DOTS22. The link to download it is in the description. And if I go into the uninstall, the first page you can't remove anything. 
Uh, same thing with the second page, so you can't get rid of Wise Pilot or Touch Note yet because uh, this can't be rooted. Third page, you can remove the sports app as well as Hot Shots, but you can't remove the golf game. And the next page is all my apps. Uh, when you turn it off, there is the gingerbread animation. And if you go into the camera, you can zoom even when it's at uh, the full 8 megapixel resolution. You can zoom and it uh, obviously gets blurry as you zoom into things. Um, I'll have another video with a video sample as well as picture samples. Uh, when you go into the camera mode, and you're in 720p high def, um, you, still, uh, you can't zoom. Another new feature with the 4.0 firmware is when you're using HDMI out, it's no longer portrait and it is landscape on the TV. So uh, the home screen as well as the app drawer are all in landscape and take up the entire uh, TV now. Previously only when you ran full screen apps such as the camera or other things that were landscape it would go landscape but uh, the applications would be vertical but as you can see even when you turn the phone vertically uh, when you're plugged in via HDMI out it's always going to be landscape so it can take up the entire uh, widescreen HDTV.